Hello viewers, welcome to this session, Gentlemen of Rio and Media, Part 2. In the Part 1 session, we have discussed so many things about the author John A. Sedillo and how was Don Anselmo and how was his coat, how were his gloves, hat and what kind of man, Gentlemen of Rio and Media. And uh, he agreed, Gentlemen of Rio and Media, Don Anselmo agreed to sell his property. $1200. But after survey, John A. Sedillo and Americans were ready to give more money, double, almost double amount because Don Anselmo's land was more than 8 acres. That we discussed. But uh, Don Anselmo was not in a position to take double amount. His agreed amount is $1200. So he decided to take that amount. Okay. That uh, we have discussed in the last period and uh, he took the same $1200 with him, not more than, though his land was more than 8 acres. So let's continue in the present part 2 video. Okay, dear children, please, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing red color subscribe button which is on your screen. New Nama channel na Sadasir Agir de Igre, David to Nim Stream Malirta Kanta, Kempu Bandra subscribe button and press Madi, Namela video Gurana, Uchita Wagi Nodi, Halvar Vishagana, Kalilika Sade. Please press red colored subscribe button. Okay, thank you. If you find my videos are good to you to learn, so please like. So let's continue. Paragraph number seven. A month later, my friends had moved into. Rio N. Medio, after purchasing uh, Don and Silmo's land, Americans went to stay there, Rio N. Medio. Okay? When the thing nantra, Americans, Don and Silmo's money, they had replastered the house. So, they made some renovations. So, they had replastered the old house, pruned the trees. See, what are the renovations or changes Americans made? If you are asked for two mass question, then write it. Americans replastered the house. Matum ella plaster matare, repair matare. And pruned the trees. Pran means cut the unnecessary twigs of the trees. Unnecessary balkondrita kanta ella trees and a togilanta tarsare. Pran matare to look beautiful. And patched the fence. So fence was patched because of uh, children were running, children were using and they loosed the fence. That's why it was tightened. And moved in summer. See, those Americans went to Rio and Medio's house in summer season. What are the renovations? One day they came back to the office to complain. What happened there? So one day Americans came with a complaint to storyteller or lawyer John A. said, complaint and What was that complaint? You can be asked, what was the complaint of Americans? What was Americans' complaint? It can be asked for two months. The children of the village were overrunning their property. Please underline what was the complaint. Children of Rio and Medio were overrunning. Means they were running, they were playing, they were spending their much of time in the orchard because they thought that uh, still this property belongs to his grand grandfather Don and Silmo. So they were still overrunning. And they came every day and played under the trees. So the children of Rio and Medio came to the place and they played under the trees. Built little play fences around them. So they used to build little houses with the sand and they used to make play fences around them. And took blossoms. So there were some flowers or blossoms. They used to pluck them. When they were spoken to, when Americans uh, spoke to them, do not do that. So instead of uh, stopping what they did do, they only laughed. Those children laughed at Americans and talked back good natured in Spanish. So they didn't blame. Those children did not spoke in rough uh, words. So they spoke gentle words in Spanish. Because they still thought that uh, that property belonged to their grand old father. Grand old father, uh, 
ಡಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಲ್ಮೊ ತಮ್ಮ ಅಜ್ಜನ ಆಸ್ತಿ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮೊದಲಿಂದ ಆಟ ಆಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರ್ತಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅದು ನಿಲ್ಲುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಮಾರಾಟ ಆದ್ರೂ ನಿಲ್ಲುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವೇರ್ ಓವರ್ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ದೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಗ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಾಸಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ದೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಇನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಡಿಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ I sent a messenger up to mountains for Don and Silmo. I mean, sir, storyteller sent some person, messenger means some person to the mountains where uh, Don and Silmo was living. He was living in the mountains. It took a week to arrange another meeting. So, Don and Silmo was uh, not in, uh, in a, what we can say, good mood to come there. So, it took a week to get him to the office. ಆಫೀಸ್ ಕರ್ಸ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ವೀಕ್ ಆಯ್ತು ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಅರೈವ್ಡ್ ಹಿ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮಿನರಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಅರೈವ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ ಡಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಲ್ ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ಮೊದಲಿಂದು ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ತೆಗೆಯೋದು ಗ್ಲೌಸ್ ತೆಗೆಯೋದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನೇ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಹಿ ಓರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಫೇಡೆಡ್ ಕಟ್ ಅವೇ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಡ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಓರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫೇಡೆಡ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕಟ್ ಅವೇ ಕೋಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೇಡೆಡ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಹಿ ಓರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಹಾಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿದ್ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ or not umbrella and was accompanied by the boy again the same boy came with the don and simo he shook hands all around so he shook all around so it was their custom avaru ondu sampradayadanti ellara kai galannu kulukutane now hey namaskara maduthivu avaru at sat down with the boy behind his chair so that old man sat in the chair sat his chair and talked about the weather first how they started americans or johnny settle started about weather rain and family he did not start start directly finally he broached the subject broach means started don and silmo the ranch you sold these people ranch means house their ranch means bungalow so don and silmo you sold your property to these americans they are good people americans are good people and want to be your good neighbors always so they want to be your good neighbors or olle jana idare nimu olle neravari aagtare when you sold to them you signed a document when you sold by taking 1200 dollars you made a sign in the bond deed in sign madidiya and in that deed you agreed to several things bahalashtu vishayagalanna okkondidiya one thing was that they were to have the complete possession of the property when once you sold that property everything belong to those purchasers tree mud stones everything belong to those purchasers now don and silmo it seems that every day children of the village every day children of the village overrun the orchard every day what was happening there children of the village overrunning their property avara holadalli tirigaadtidare spend much, most of their time there they used to spend the most of them balastu samayana alle kalitare we would like to know if you as the most respected man in the village you are the most respected man in the village please advise them tell them to stop or daivita makkale helidre anta could not stop them from doing so in order that these people might enjoy their new home more in space so americans wanted to stay peacefully that's why don and silmo please tell them avaru helidre ivu shanta rithinda irlikke ivu bidri anta helidre anta helidaga don and silmo stood up once again don and silmo stood up ed nilthane we have all learned to love these americans we have all learned to love these americans please underline so this is a very important extract extract andre sandarbha who said this to whom it was said why it, why it is said like this so who said this don and silmo to whom americans and asd so we means here all the villagers and children so they learn to love these americans because they love americans because americans were good people he said because they were good people and good neighbors olle nere horidare i sold them my property because i knew they were good people nan yak avriga nan aasti maridena andre olle jana idare but i did not sell them the trees in the orchard it's a very strange thing please underline don in silmo according to don in silmo he sold his property not his trees 
he did not sell his trees in the orchard because those trees belong to the children of rio and medio according to don ensil don ensil mo en heltan andre nan ella aasti maridini adanna nan holadalli todadalli irtakkanta gidagalanna nan nimge marilla avu namma makkala aasti anthe heltan so this is the very strange thing so let's check our understanding fill in the blanks with a sustainable word word or words to describe the land and the house sold by the man before it was peeled off plaster after it was sold replaster first one pruned the trees next the trees were not looking good torn fence patched fence from the list given below tick the activities in which children of rio and medio were involved yav yav rithi kelsagala avaru alli tunta tanavanna maartidru after the americans occupied the house and the land sold by don and silmo ಆ ಭೂಮಿಯನ್ನು ಮಾರಿದ ನಂತರ ಯಾವ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ನೋ ರಿನೋವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆರ್ಚರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಾರ್ಶ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನಿಶ್ ನೋ ಪ್ಲಕಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಫೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಏರಿಯಾ ಎಸ್ laughing whenever they were spoke, uh, spoken to yes it is also right running around the land it is also right okay next third question the possibilities for a week long delay for another meeting are given what was the possibility of long delay one war act get kodtu which of them do you agree with discuss with deliberately delay uddesh purvak maadida was slow and was not in station was ill because second one is right because that old gentleman was slow because he was old and uh, he might be ill aram irlikilla and fourth question don and silmo repeated certain things whenever he met the storyteller and took leave of him write down them the old man shakes hands remove his hat gloves and uh, give them to that dark old boy like this list out those things Don Ensign Moses says Americans are good people does his remark strike you as sarcastic or sincere so is it sarcastic sarcastic antandre vidambane athwa adanna vimarsha maartidare eno ant anustada athwa sincere so here don ensign moses is very sincere fellow he was a man of principles share your responses with your partner ninu vicharagalanna share maadri so let's go to paragraph number 10 whenever you find double inverted comma sentence dear children please underline them and uh, make clear that to who said this to whom it was said because extract one compulsory extract can be asked on this chapter this is bad don and silmo i played it i mean storyteller requested this is very bad that don and silmo you are refusing you are disagreeing everything bahal ketta do when one signs a deed sells a real uh, property one sells also everything when one sells the property he sells everything stone mud trees everything he sells obba vyakti one sala tan aasti en maadidre alli irthakanta ella vastugalanna maartide grows on the land and those trees every one of them are on the land and inside the boundary of what you sold everything in the boundary it belongs to or they belong to that purchasers alli wonderful yen irthada ella athige kondavru irthada anthe irthane next yes i admit that he said dohnen silmo admit that okkoltane but you know he added i am the oldest man in the village dohnen silmo said that he was the oldest man in the village thanu ee hallile attanta haley vyakti almost everyone in there everyone there in my relative and all the children of rio and medio are my sober niece and neto sober niece and neto means nephew and nieces aliya mattu sose athwa avara sambandhikaragidru pratyobbru avunige sambandhikaragbeku and my descendants descendants and varasudaru every time a child has been born in rio en medio since i took possession of the house from my mother so when the child takes birth in rio en medio so he that the child plant one tree there that's why uh, the trees belong to them all irtakanta makkalu hachirtakanta gidagalu so illu one more question is there so he 
took that property from his mother. So he, he inherited who? Don and Silmo inherited his property from his mother. Please underline it can be asked for one mark. I have planted a tree for that child. When child takes birth in the village, he plants are those children, parents of those children, plant one tree. The trees in that orchard are not mine. So, I did not plant them. So, those are not mine. Sinner, they belong to the children of village. So, those trees belong to the children of village. So, I did not sell them. Everyone, every person in Rio and Medio born since railroad came to Santa Fe owns a tree in that orchard. Everyone owns a tree in that orchard. I did not sell the trees because I could not. I did not sell the tree because I could not sell because those trees were planted by children or their parents. They are not by now. There was nothing we could do. Legally, we owned the trees, but the old man had been so generous. Legally, Americans owned those trees. American they could not do The old man had been so generous. Gentlemen, please underline. When you are asked to write about Don and Silmo, then add man of principle, generous. Refusing what amount to a fortune for him, it took most of the following winter to buy the trees. So what happened is there, how this case was solved. So Americans and lawyer purchased each tree which belonged to that particular child. solve Amounted fortune for it took most of the following winter to buy the trees. Individually, so they purchased individually. From the descendants of Don and Silmo in the valley of Rio and Medio. So they purchased each tree by paying the amount. So in this way, the case was solved. Do you think it's a wonderful story? It looks like funny. But uh, the major thing is that uh, only we have to enjoy the thing. Okay. Okay. Let's check our understanding. Don and Silmo sold his land, but he did not sell his trees because they belong to the children of Rio and Medio. The children of Rio and Medio were Don and Silmo's Sobernizo and Nitos. Don and Silmo inherit, inherited his property from his mother. Next. Fourth question, according to Don and Silmo, the real owner or owners of the trees was or were children. Children of Rio and Medio. Next, some options are given there. Option A, children of Rio and Medio. B, Don and Silmo himself. Option C, the Americans. Option D, the storyteller. Option E, Don and Silmo's and sisters. Option A is the right answer. Next question number five, Don and Silmo did not sell the trees. Why do you think he did not sell? This is the right question. Because the trees were, option A, trees were like children to him. They were grown for the children for the next generation. He thought they did not belong to him, but to the children. D, he had grown them in the memory of his ancestors. E, he wanted his surroundings to be green, which, which is the right answer here. I think C, he thought they did not belong to him but to the children. So this is according to him, this is the right answer. So in this way, we can learn this prose lesson very easily. So let's check some important question. Good. Long question. Don and Silmo's appearance and manners were quite unusual. So how he looked like appearance? How would you support this statement based on the text? If it is asked for a long question, then you go on explaining from starting from the end, starting from to the end. Whose argument do you agree with? Don and Silmo or the storyteller's argument? So we have to agree to Don and Silmo's argument to some extent and we have to agree 
storytellers also. Don Enselmo was passionate about his land and children of Rio and Medio passionate the Mala Alava the Bonia Mandru. Yes. Which details you have to bring details of from the from uh, the lesson. Next, Don Enselmo's reaction to offer of more money was not expected because he was a man of principles. So in this way, dear children, please please read this lesson once twice. And watch this video part number one and part number two once twice and try to understand the lesson. Okay. And get the guidance from your teacher. And this is uh, what we can say supplementary to. It means that this uh, is the first thing that we have So, this is the Very simple. How was Don in Silmo? You have to explain about his court, his uh, wishes, and how he was man of principality or generous like this. It can be asked for even long question, but uh, generally it is asked for one question. How was Don in Silmo? Next, at what amount was agreed to sell his property? Like this, small questions are asked. I have explained while in the explanatory part. Nanu part one hello aga. I will halwar vishegalana tamjote discuss madi dini. So yili one vishesh vagar ki tar halwar prashne galan middle question na mat kundo bariyadan kheli bhi. So yili extraction ya auriti mat bhi. Oh, extraction ya auriti mat bhi kyun hori? Two must question itara bharata practice smart code extracts. We have made a discovery. We have made a discovery. So first question, who is the speaker? Who said this? Next. To whom it was asked. Next, C. Some important question. We refer to. We means Americans and Don Enselmo. What was the discovery? Such questions can be asked. So three questions are asked. First, who see who said this? Who is the speaker? Who is the speaker here? Americans. Okay. Americans and Don. Sorry, John A. S. D. To whom it was asked? It was asked. It was asked to Don and Silmo. What was the discovery? Americans, with the help of surveyor, made a discovery. Don and Silmo's land was more than eight acres. So they agreed to pay double amount. In this way. There is a possibility of asking extract. Such extracts can be asked. So while reading the lesson, underline and keep it in your memory that who said this to whom. Who part one was the double inverted comma the left hand sentence. Who said this to whom? 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 Pencil hit to underline mark to whom? Who said this to whom? Who said this to whom? Who said this to whom? Part one here we discuss money. Then, other than long question, then we will say till third me. Third group, what is the part of the summary? Bar we have to do. So, this is the question. Then, ready mark. Then, ready mark. Then, bar you then. Then, try to write off your own. Part one, what is new words? Then, bar it. Then, try. Sadhya vadra vaga words. Then, meaning. Then, matta spelling. Then, by heart. Then, try. Then, try. Then, try. Then, try. So, dear children, uh, please watch this video once or twice. So, this uh, chapter is divided into part 1 and part 2. Okay, dear uh, teachers, friends, and students, share these two videos to your students and friends so they, they can learn more and many more things by staying at their home. So, still if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and 
ಗೆಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿತಿನ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ನೀವು ಇದುವರೆಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಚಾನೆಲ್ ನ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿರದೇ ಇದ್ರೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮುಂದಿನ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಷಣಾರ್ಧದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಪಡಿಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ಮುಂದಿನ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಭೇಟಿಯಾಗೋಣ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಥ್ಯಾಂ